We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> did I do that? I sure did. PPW, which means a something. Prana plant woods. It's all green here. Even the clouds are green. Which means we've entered the mint zone. You cannot leave the mint zone. Your breath is now minty fresh. Everything is mint in the future. Actually, I did use Linux Mint for a time, but right now I'm on... Exubuntu? Or, no, just Ubuntu. I, I almost thought I had to worry about, like, how it looked in the UI sense. Turns out I really don't, <laughs> for the most part. But if I ever need to really change it, I know exactly how to do it, so... Yeah. But if your computer's crap, you need a better management system, I suppose. All of these plants like to kill you, and they like to eat, and the Mario is dead. That are all the things... I was just looking up uh, a story about... In Japan, they, s they sell these big watermelons, and they call them Godzilla eggs. I'm like, oh, sweet. That's pretty much it. But not really an anecdote, just a thing I've just learned about. <laughs> Thank you, Internet. You've taught me random things that might be useful in the far-off future of the year 40X the X. Never gonna happen. All that trivial pursuit will be for nothing. And a trivial fursuit, well, I... No. This is the way of all my people! Okay, cool. What else is green? I like green stuff. Why not you? Hmm. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I've never had green toothpaste. I've had white... I've had the three, like, main colors of toothpaste, which is red, white, and blue, oddly enough. You know, you've got your blue toothpaste, which is fairly ordinary. It's the actual toothbrushing part. You have the white part, which I believe is for freshing the mouth. And then you have the red part, which is for the gums. And that's how they sort it. At least I think that's our Or maybe it's the white one that's for the teeth and the blue one's for the breath. That might make more sense. Either way, yeah, color-coordinated dental hygiene products. When I've run out of subjects, I've decided to talk about things around the house. Observations outside of a limited space. So thought-provoking, I'm sure. Well, this this is why I, I have had to start communicating with people, just to see what their experiences are, just to be like, hmm, I'll talk about this then, without knowing a damn thing. The Koopa wants to tell you to go fuck yourself, and then you get hit several times. This is just becoming a... This is becoming like a, a play of sorts where I just describe what Mario's doing in time to the beat. I suppose that could work if you're literally blind, but also, I'm sorry. Like, I think blind or deafness is probably the worst disability to have for... Yeah, blindness is the worst disability for video games, really. Not that you couldn't play games, it's just... So many contexts you're missing. It's awful. I would say that if you want to be less blind, work on that. If you can. Especially if you're born blind, because, you know, if you just become blind, you at least have some idea of what things are supposed to look like. But if you've never actually seen anything in your life, that has got to be heartbreaking. Of course, then you could fall in love with the thing and, you know, a relationship will work out based on be like, Oh, you're ugly? Doesn't matter, I can't see a thing. It's like, oh, cool, no judgment from you then. Like, you think that's how it worked, but I'm pretty sure there's like a very small subset of blind people that are assholes. That we don't know about. I don't know about them. Do they exist? Maybe. Do I know any? No. I think that's what we tend to think of. Anyone who's lacking, like, a major sense or ability as, you know, empathetic or heartwarming or good and innocent is simply because there's not enough of them. So, we haven't met a lot of bad examples to judge them that way, and that wouldn't even make sense anyway. It's like, 
I don't know what point I'm trying to make. I don't think there was one. Well, now we're just using Lost Woods' Saria song from Margarita Time. That's fine with me. Don't forget this key. Oh, did I tell you the red... Okay, so the yellow block does mushrooms. The green block does feathers again. The red block does fire flowers. But now, this time the blue block does one-ups. That's ridiculous, man. You want to give me an easy time? Just throw a lot of blue blocks my way. I, I liked it better when you made vines come out. That was more funny. Or, or stars. That too. But n now we got one-ups coming out of them. Really, we could just put the kitchen sink in there and no one would mind. Don't go there yet if you're not ready. I'm thinking about the Alone in the Dark series. Why is this? Because I had a thought of what if Game Wolf got into survival horror genre. Because if I did, that would be the series I would do first. I emphasize that because that kind of game kind of trailed off from um, point-and-click adventure as a genre. Honestly. So maybe I could be attuned to it that way. But also, I'm not really in that kind of... I'm not into video games to just for the sole purpose of being scared. I can be scared by video games, but my whole purpose for playing a video game isn't to be elicited emo emotion to, so I don't really understand horror games like Amnesia or like, you know, something based off of Slender Man or Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't really do that. Not to say that they're bad, necessarily. They're just not really... They're not, they're not my cup of tea, but for a different reason. <laughs> and de defining it as a sort of gameplay thing isn't necessary, but at least with survival horror, it can be like, well, you know, I have things I'm trying to do, such as live, or, you know, be careful about what weapons I'm using and stuff to look out for, and puzzles to solve, which I can do. So if there's abstract puzzles you need in a survival horror done, you can sign me up, because I got that shit down. Yeah, give me your worst missed puzzles. I can take them. I enjoy doing them. In fact, the only the only bad part of a puzzle is that there's always a solution, which means someone's already figured it out. But that makes that makes rare games that much better, because then I can find puzzles no one's ever solved. I'd be like, ooh, I'm fancy, you know. The best puzzle games are the obscure ones, really. They don't really need to be, but it helps. Mario, I gotta win! Wahoo! Mario is number one. That is the one place he wants to have fun, cause he's in the Ludwig's castle. Not quite yet, we still got a secret exit to go. Vineyard Frolic, Vineyard Frolic, Vineyard. Why do we call it Vineyard and not Vineyard? Is there a reason for that? Is it just more fun to say Vineyard? Cause I tend to agree. Or a vineyard. Vineyard! No. The great and terrible vineyard from Denmark. He was the rotten one smelling all this time. Why do we always assume something rotten is in Denmark anyway? Is it something about, like, are we saying the Danish stink? I'll have you know a Danish is very delicious. Okay. Ooh. This is quite a harrowing bonus area. Wow. Kind of worth it to get the secret now. It's like, this secret's actually guarded by some shit with some floating vines and potaboos. You know what we call the best kind of potaboo? It's potaboss. You know, that's what Fry Guy should be renamed to. Potaboss. Gonna do that. Yeah, now I can switch between flight and fieriness at the drop of a hat without any hats dropping because this is not Mario 64. You think that kind of thing is where we got the idea for Odyssey from? It's like, what if one of those hats was sentient? Okay! So here's where one of the ruins levels ended up. You know, there used to be a whole world of these things, now they're just kind of thrown apart somewhere. I think there's a couple other ruins-like levels 
but yeah, we, we don't have them packed again in the world. I miss Ruins World, okay? I liked it a lot. <laughs> it was a cool thing to have in a Mario game, specifically. Because that's normally something you ascribe to Donkey Kong Country or Crash Bandicoot. And I was like, why was Mario lacking in such things? And it's like, I don't know. Maybe because I thought it would just be covered by Egyptian tombs and it wasn't. You know, we could have Aztec Mario. You know, what about other ancient civilizations? We could have... Well, actually, yes, I have seen mods where we have feudalism, you know, Edo-style Mario stuff with, like, cherry blossoms. That stuff's cool. One-ups! Mushrooms! One-ups! Oh, and this music? This is the temple music from Donkey Kong Land. I tend to... It's my favorite one of the game. It's my favorite music in the game. It really is. In fact, it was so good, I played Donkey... I actually played Donkey Kong Land before Donkey Kong Country. Small known fact. So, I, when I played the temple in the, the Donkey Kong Country for the first time, I was very disappointed. Because this... The Game Boy music was just so much better. In a way that I didn't think it would be. So, yeah. It also had those some unique theme levels of its own, including the ship, or it, I didn't realize it was the boss, final boss music. You know? And then that remix of the Game Boy thing, I think, was used for Donkey Kong Country 2. As a boat theme kind of thing. And it's pretty good. This Mario gets pencil-fired by the many Bowser... That's the other thing. These ruins levels are excused to have castle-like elements outside. Which I just agree with on principle. As well as cannons. Remember when the ancients devised cannons in the year 1000 in ancient China? Oh, right. Shit, when you think about it, maybe guns were Chinese the whole time. Oh, but that would make too much sense. Everything in America is Chinese. What? No. We can't have standards like that. That's why nationalities are just weird. When the whole point of the nation is to... Is to distinguish, like, rule of law rather than, you know, what it is you like doing or look like. But, hey, what do I know? I'm just the person playing video games on the internet. Actually, I know a lot of shit that you don't. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh, boy. Why are we getting multiple different types of saw blades? I don't like that. I even recall some, one of them being like, it just goes around like one of those little sparky guys. I'm just like, how was I going to know that was going to happen? I didn't know. Oh, it's the rare I kept my shell in the question block trick. And even rarer was the fact there was an enemy inside it, too. All right, this is funny. This is the only time I've seen this, but basically he puts the gap in front of the goal post and is like, all right, hope I can jump over that. But this comes with the side effect is no item I bring is going to survive the fall. That's unfortunate. Maybe if I had jumped up to the very top, it would have survived. But it's too late now. Before we escape into the pipe zone, I need some more bonuses for my bonus parties. Give me my bonus seals. Sorry about that, trying to get comfortable. Just adjusting myself, you know. You know, I cross my legs, and then one leg wants to be the upper leg, and then the other one's like, no, it's my turn. It's hammer time! Guys, it's hammer time. Just out, out, out of nowhere. Get all your MC Hammer jokes out there, right now. I demand it. So yeah, this level's okay. Since we're out of the forest world, this can just be anything now. <laughs> it's cool, though. I still, I still mark this as part of World 3, according to me. I kind of have unofficial level number placements for a lot of these, so... I use that for my own records, it's not in any official capacity. I would never proclaim to officiate what world names and level names are. I used to try to do that just to bring some sort of semblance of order. I don't need to do that. I really don't. And it wasn't so much order as it was, you know kind of filling it in. It's like, what do I think this is? And why do I have this weird... Huh. I think I left my shoulder into the desk for too long. That's odd. I've got lines on my arms! Does that ever happen to you when you get up from a nap? 
you wake up and you're like, why are there lines on my arms? Because that happens to me. And I don't really quite understand it. Because I, I, I like to think the indent is from something specific. Which is like, okay. Except I don't know what's making that indent, and more importantly, what's making multiple indents that look kind of the same, but in different directions and lengths. And I'm like, hmm. What could be doing this? I hadn't figured it out. But... Maybe me thinks my skin is readjusting. I don't know. Sure is right now. Sissy, what a place. What a placement, Powers! That we place us all... ...along. Hmm. Ah, there's the Star Road. We'll have to come back another time. I found it. It was way out of there. But we had to keep the star outside of our reach. Now it is time for Ludwig's castle. Alright, Ludwig's the forest keeper this time around. And Ludwig is number three? Dude, you are coming on way too soon. Oh well, at least he'll enjoy his boss battle, but come on. Also, for some... This is kind of a weird tick, but... I've noticed Mandicute puts the hash sign the pound sign for the number after the actual number. That could be like a romance language thing. Like in the way that instead of... It's kind of like miles and kilometers or the way American does their dates. for The way we do our dates versus the rest of the world. So I like how the rest of the world does it though because they put the date, then the month, then the year as kind of an order of scaling, but no. Because of the way we talk, we put month, then day, then year. And, well, I've just gotten used to that. So you think to yourself, you know, July 3rd. That's not March 7th, you know. Exactly. That's exactly the problem with that. Of course, you should know pretty damn well that there isn't a month 16th. But I want to live in a, in a timeline where we have that many months. Every month is just two weeks. Castle music. Oh, hey. So, why did I bring a star? Because kiss my lack to ass, that's why. <laughs> Alright, he's not gonna get me again. Lodwig's lack themed castle. Because they're all nerds. Just like me. That's what they all say. I am cool. And you are not. If I had the self-confidence to realize that, it's making up for some problems I probably had a fairly long time ago. Super Mario is a really cool guy. Okay, let's ride the Lakitu Cloud. Yeah, it's a very Lakitu themed castle. It didn't have to be, but here we are. I'm taking it. And have another one. And try not to fall, because I think that's lava down there. Yep. Oh no! My spine is stuck in the wall! It's gone through one of those NVIDIA physics effects. It ain't coming out, man. It's stuck. Seriously, how'd that happen? Oh, did the Lackey 2 go through the wall and then throw the spiny? Oh dear. That's probably how that happened. Alright, this is kind of a pet peeve of mine, but I don't know why the Lackey 2 has red eyes. Me think someone tried to picture of him one day. Don't try for that coin unless you have this P-Switch. In fact, if you ever see a coin above a way in which you can't possibly reach it safely, you probably need a P-Switch. If not, then maybe you need something else. Alright. So, he's gonna take six hits. We're gonna be here a while! <laughs> Otherwise, the boss fight is basically unchanged. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Hey, Ludwig. Yeah. I guess we could talk about... Uh... More requests for ROM hacks. Um... So yeah, someone requested a while back for, uh... Super Mario Radish Kingdom Adventure. Um... I'm sorry to turn you down, but I actually attempted that game. I, I, I went and actually took your request into deep consideration, and I got pretty far, alright? It was like World 4 or World 5. 
I, I noticed the difficulty was increasing sharply to the point where it wasn't becoming fun. And to my knowledge, this is the only dude's creation. So, I mean, I don't know if I should be blaming him. But there was just a few things that weren't just right just because of that. Due to, like, you know, massive enemy spam. I, I only, it's only enemy spam when your game chugs slowly because of it. And, yeah, it was just... It was just becoming painful to play, and I didn't enjoy seeing myself get angry at a game like that. But it's not a priority. I mean, I want to. It's still coverable. I just don't want to do it right now. I'm. I'm very sorry for your request. You can ask for another one. I, I've never had to formally. Mario crossed the chaotic Mystic Forest and defeated Ludwig von Koop on Castle Number Three. Now a pipe that led to an obscure, fiery underground wait for him. Yeah, I've never. I've never had to tell my audience how to turned down a request before um so there it is I didn't want to turn down one out one <laughs> I don't want to normally turn down a Mario ROM hack request although eventually it would someone would have suggested one that was annoying or hard to play and I can't really help that it's kind of subjective but I got so many Mario ROM hacks I can play anyway that's almost a non-issue but if that somehow seems to be one left that's remaining yeah, I'll give it another try. I just can't do it right now. Perhaps if I just keep going through enough ROM hacks, I'll be good enough at them, which is kind of a good plan. Like, do If I could try to give you a guide of how to do hard ROM hacks, my suggestion would be to find those of slightly harder difficulty and just kind of work your way up, except I don't know how to actually rate them more precisely in terms of difficulty. Like, we've got our main whatever's easy, whatever's hard kind of things, but something more specific as to what's gradually harder than the last for you to try, I cannot actually say or can help myself in that way, so it's just going to take some time, okay? But yeah, if you have other Mario World ROM hack requests, feel free, but right now I've got this one and some other ones i got to cover, and... You know, I have the ones I have already done that I have to cover. Except for a couple. Because they're kind of garbage, but that's not actually um, something I would turn down later. But I don't want to do them right now. And also this one, because I hadn't done it yet. So, see more of that in the next video.